Welcome to episode two of the NMSP Rundown. I'm Candace Hopkins. In this episode, we take a look at the very busy month of September for the New Mexico State Police. In addition to our normal police work, NMSP continues to play a critical role at the Emergency Operations Center. Take a look. Did you know that New Mexico has an Emergency Operations Center? The EOC, located in Santa Fe, is run by the State Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. The EOC can be activated for a variety of emergency situations and is currently active to manage the COVID-19 response. NMSP's EOC liaison, Captain Mark Rowley, plays an important role there. We're the intermediary for things like resource requests from law enforcement agencies. We're also responsible for hazardous materials incidents in the state uh, by state statute. A typical activated EOC would be buzzing with activity, with emergency management staff on hand from many different agencies, including NMSP. And while Captain Raleigh continues to work on site, the COVID-19 situation means this current activation is anything but typical. The difference now is that we don't have everybody here at the EOC. They're work working virtually for the most part. And so what we're doing is we're using a program called Web EOC. Uh, where we can upload documents, we can contact people, uh, we use uh, video conferencing. And with September marking National Preparedness Month, Captain Rowley likes to remind all New Mexican residents to get their own families ready for an emergency. You need a go bag and more importantly, a solid plan. Plan ahead of time and come up with an evacuation plan. Come up with a plan of, well, how much food do I really need? And how much water do I need? and uh, and this be prepared for the unknown. September was also a busy month for community events. NMSP officers assisted at food pantries in places like Peralta and at the monthly OK Owinge Casino Mobile Food Pantry run by the Food Depot. Right now we're seeing such an influx of, of hungry people and, and people in need in, in our nine counties that we have in the north here. Approximately 400 cars received food and PPE kits provided by NMSP. Oh, I think it's great to have the state police here giving away the masks. That's one of the few things that we we try to talk to all the cars into doing is wearing their mask when they give food so it protects our individuals that are that are handing food out. We're, we're requesting that people put their masks on before they get here. And a lot of people don't have masks, so this really, really does help out. This partnership with the Food Depot continued at another event with the Los Alamos Rotary Club. NMSP officers help pack 40,000 meals to be distributed in the northern part of the state. NMSP employee Laura Gonzalez is president of the club and says many NMSP employees like herself are dedicated to helping their communities both while at work and in their free time. When you think about it, people work for the state or local government or the federal government because they want to be a public servant. And the culture that follows through with the state of not only encouraging us to be public servants, but also encouraging us to go beyond our jobs as public servants into being general servants to the, to the different organizations in our community is amazing. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the NMSP Rundown. Until next time, mask up and stay safe.